welcome back to Science Made Simple. I'm your host, Dr. Boyd the Chemist, and today we're going to learn about non-Newtonian fluids by making oobleck. Here's what you'll need. You'll need cornstarch, a bowl, some room temperature water, and some measuring cups. You might also want something to stir with. Isaac Newton was a physicist and mathematician who determined a number of laws of physics. One of those laws relates to fluids and liquids and is called Newton's law of viscosity. Thus, any liquid that behaves in a fashion that falls outside of that law of viscosity is called a non-Newtonian liquid or non-Newtonian fluid. Now, at this point, I do want to give a warning to all my scientific sticklers for definitions. I'm going to explain viscosity and non-Newtonian fluids using terminology that aren't the most scientific. But the way I'm going to explain it, I think gives the best understanding of what is meant by those terms. So please do bear with me. Viscosity is essentially how thick or sticky a fluid is. If a fluid is high in viscosity, it's going to be thick and sticky like honey. If it is low in viscosity, then it's going to be runny and splashy like water. Two categories of non-Newtonian fluids are shear thickening and shear thinning. A shear thickening fluid will become more viscous or more sticky when a stress is applied. A shear thinning fluid will become less viscous or more runny when a stress is applied. A fluid that is shear thickening will stiffen when a force is applied, whereas a fluid that is shear thinning will loosen and flow more when a force is applied. Now again, that is not the most scientific definition, but I do think that gives the best understanding of what is meant by the physical, technical definition of shear thickening and shear thinning. An example of a shear thinning fluid is ketchup. It's really thick at first. That's why when it's in the bottle, it has a hard time coming out until you apply a stress or a force to the bottle. Then it begins to flow. It loosens up. That's shear thinning. Today, we're going to combine cornstarch with water to make a shear thickening fluid. That fluid is called oobleck. Let's make some. Now today's exercise is safe, so no need for goggles or gloves, but it is very messy. Be prepared. In your bowl, add one cup of cornstarch. Now, add half a cup of room temperature water. Now you could stir this up using a utensil like a stirring rod or a spoon, but oh no, we're gonna use these natural utensils. Let's use our hands. Notice how when I grab the oobleck with my hands quickly and sharply and harshly, it stiffens and it breaks up like clay. It behaves almost like a solid. I can actually mold it into a little ball and smack it around. But once I release the pressure and the stress on it, it begins to run and to flow. That tells me that it is sheer thickening. When it's in its relaxed state, it will flow like a liquid. Once I apply a stress to it, in this case, I'm using my hands to apply stress to it, it stiffens. Notice how if I put my fingers on the top of it, my fingers will sink readily into the oobleck. However, if I try to force my fingers down into it, I can't force my fingers down through to the bottom. 
Again, that's because it is sheer thickening. By trying to apply a force, I'm creating a solid-like behavior. Whereas if I just relax my hand, my hand will sink right into it. And that's non-Newtonian fluids, or at least two kinds of them. I'll see you next time.